Now, let's go a little further. Let's, let's look at scripture because we need to see it. Let's go to uh, Genesis chapter 22. Let's look at 22 here. Now watch this, my, my, my brothers and sisters. And now let's read it right here. We're going to start at verse 16. It says, And said, By myself have I swore, said the Lord, For because thou hast done this thing, and hast not withheld my son, thy son, thy only son, that in blessing I will bless thee and multiply thee, I will multiply thy seed as the as the stars of heaven, and as the sand uh, which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gates of his enemy, and thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. And as I stated, my brothers and sisters, we, my, we came down through, well, our ancestors came down through, uh, the European nation of the England. All the places that Israel went, God blessed them. Every every place that Israel went, the most I blessed that place. Even even Babylon. That's right. Everywhere they went. Now let's go a little further. Let's stay in Genesis. Let's move on to Genesis chapter twenty six. Now let's read here now. 26, 1 through 4, it says, And there was a famine in the land, beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went unto Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Gerah. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go not down into Egypt. Dwell in the land which I shall tell thee. Sojourn is this land in this land, and I will be with thee, and will bless thee, for unto thee and unto thy seed I will give all the, the, these countries, and I will perform the oath which I swore unto Abraham thy father, and I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven. And will give unto thy seed all these countries. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. It's right down. Now my brothers and sisters. And, and you guys that ever been in, in the workforce. And I know most of you guys that had, you know that that have been in the workforce. That got any age on you at, at all. You know what their quota was. All we need is one. That's all. All we need is one. But see, what happened was, Master started looking out there, and Master started going out there raping our people, and bringing in these mixed kids. So as time went on, they forgot about the real people. Mm -hmm. And they began to get the ones that looked like similar to, to, to them. And they put them in the high places and in the and in the jobs and, and into uh, uh, different things they're giving them breaks you know giving them contracts and this and that and see my brothers and sisters this is why all the jobs uh, have left because God is showing them that's not our agreement our agreement was that you're going to uh, uh, put them to work but if you, if you remember when they were down in Egypt they, uh, uh, Pharaoh told them, well, I used to bring your straw, but now go get your own straw and make your bricks. That's what he said. But but here in America, the, the ones that, you know, are the true people, they don't want to hire them. They won't hire them. They give the jobs to the ones that they say got the good hair. The ones that they say look more like them. But the ones that are, are, are dark, oh well, no, we can't, we can't do that. And then they they stress about well, what well, a job had to go in. That's right, because the Most High says, well, you know, uh, I'm gonna curse you. And you know they they sung, God bless America. You know, uh, they made us sing that song when I was a kid growing up in school. But America was blessed. But now America is going downhill. Know why? 
because of the most highest children. Now let's 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 go a little further here, and I'm gonna uh, prove, like I say, I prove everything I say. Now we're in Genesis 26. Now let's go on down here. We did verse four, didn't we? Let's go and read verse five. Because that Abraham obeyed the voice of uh, uh, Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandment, my statutes, and my law. Abraham did everything according to how the Most High say do it. Mm hmm. But see, but all these countries that didn't fool with uh, the Hebrew Israelites, they ain't got nothing coming. Look at them. Look at them. They don't have anything coming. But this country here is being uh, 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 cursed now because why? Of what they're doing toward God's people. It only takes one. That's all. Now let's go a little further here. Let's go to uh, Genesis 37. Watch it right now, my brothers and sisters. Most of you guys already know the story here. But we're going to uh, deal with that. Genesis 37, let's go with verse 5 here. It says, well, we're going to talk about Joseph here, okay? Now, we're going to jump on through it, you know, uh, for time's sake. It says, verse 5 says, And Joseph dreamed a dream, and he told it to his brothers. And they hated him yet the more. And he said unto them, Here I pray thee this dream which I have dreamed. For behold, we... Well, uh, binding shavings in the field. Okay, anyway, to make a long story short, he tells them the dream, right? You guys know the story. And then his brothers uh, say, well, oh, so, so what you're saying is that we're going to bow down to you, right? So then they hated him even the more. Now, let's jump on down here to verse, uh, okay, let's, um, let's go down here to uh, verse 12. It says, um, and his brother envied him, you know, they envied him, but his father observed and saying, and his brothers went to feed their uh, father's flocks in Shechem. And Israel said to Joseph, Do not thy brothers feed thy flock in Shechem? Come, and I will send thee unto them. And he said to uh, him, here I am. Okay, now we now we know the story, but we're going to jump on down now because for time's sake. Let's jump down to verse 18. It says, And when they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. And they said one to another, Behold, the dreamer cometh. Now we see here now, God is setting up this uh, 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 scene here. Uh, if you know the story, but you can see now what's taking place. And, and, and like I said in many, many other, uh, uh, other videos, the Most High uses evil and good in balance. You know, but uh, we can't understand what he's doing because... Well, some of what he's doing because we would never be able to understand it. His ways are past finding out. But... To see how some of his means of operation is, what the civilization have, have taught us all kind of bullshit. But see, but here we we see Joseph here is going to be treated like uh, yesterday in newspaper. Uh, he ain't nothing. Throw him, throw him to the curb, or he ain't nothing. But anyway, the Most High loved Joseph. Now look what he said. All of them came against him, didn't they? He said, "Come now, therefore, and let us slay him and cast him into some pit." Okay, now, they, uh, they have conspired saying that they're going to kill him. You see, my brother and sister, uh, all the stuff here that's coming um, upon Joseph, one would say that the Most High doesn't, doesn't love Joseph. But my brother and sister, that couldn't be further from the truth. I remember as a child growing up, I was told the same thing. God don't love you. Oh, yeah. I mean, so many things that uh, happened in Joseph's life happened to me. I experienced all of it firsthand. Now look what he says here. Goes on down here. Let's look at verse, verse, um, 
23, it said, It came to pass when Joseph was come unto his brothers that they stripped Joseph off of his coat. My brother and sister, that happened to me. It did. I had went up north, came back, wearing uh, the fancy clothes, but they stripped me. One held me and other one stripped me butt naked. Told me we don't wear clothes like that around here. My brothers and sisters, I was treated the same way Joseph was treated. Stripped him. Stripped him of all his clothes. I mean, stripped it off of him and then took him and cast him into a pit. An empty pit. My, my brothers and sisters, the Most High doesn't change his, his ways of operation. Even though all this stuff is happening to, to Joseph, we all know what, what the outcome was. But my brothers and sisters, if you can see here and look at your lives, you can see part of, of, of all these things transpire in your life also. Now look what he says here. They uh, stripped them and then threw them in, into a pit. Then, he, then they said, well, let's, let's sell him. Let's jump on over here. Let, let, let's go on down here uh, to verse 20, 27. It says, come and let us sell him to the Ishmaelites and let not our hands be upon him. For he is our brother, our flesh, and his brothers were content with that. So they sold him. I'm just paraphrasing it on, on down in here. Uh, they sold him to the Ishmaelites. And my brothers and sisters, one has to go down in Egypt. That's, that's a part of our going to the top. One has to adventure into Egypt. Now, my brothers and sisters, you're going to see in the pages that uh, Egypt is a place where it's not a pleasant place. And, and, my, and my brothers and sisters, as we stated, you know, uh, the, the, the scripture over in Deuteronomy 28 and 60, uh, 60 80 says, I'm going to send you back into Egypt again by ship. You know, and whatnot, and you can be sold as uh, bond men and bond women and whatnot. But uh, Egypt is not a, a, a place of enjoyment. It's not, N not for the uh, the most highest children. And see, my brothers and sisters, uh, one does not have to be Hebrew to be treated. You know, uh, like uh, yesterday's shit. He doesn't. All he has to do is have some color in the skin. That's all. And then they will assume that you are part of the um, the people of the Most High. That's why um, you're not like because you got color in your skin. You never will be like. They will bullshit you and, and, and pretend that they like you, but in reality, you're not like at all. It's, it, it, it's more or less that uh, we're going to put up with you. But anyway, let's go on down here in our lesson, my, my, my brothers and sisters. Now let's get on down here to verse 36. It says, And, and the men like sold him into Egypt unto Pharaoh, I mean Potiphar, and uh, uh, an officer of Pharaoh, a captain of the guard. So now we see that he is going down. He's continually going down. But my brothers and sisters, once you, once you reach the bottom, there's no other place to go but up. And even in even in this hellhole, my brothers and sisters, we are at the uh, at the bottom of the barrel right now. There is not too much more that can happen to us before the Most High, high has to send Elijah. I mean, we cannot defend ourselves. We cannot. No matter how hard we may try, we are not able to defend ourselves. We don't have anything. And if you read the book of Deuteronomy 20th chapter, like you start around about the 50th verse, 
and then you, you well, like Ram.